Hi, my name is David Faraci, and I'm an attorney with Swartz & Swartz in Boston. So these days, a lot of parents are working, and when they're working, they send their young children to daycare to be watched over while the parents at work. Unfortunately, we've seen some circumstances where a child is injured while under the care of a daycare operator. If this happens, the child may have a claim against the daycare operator for the injuries that they've suffered. A daycare operator is responsible to keep the child safe. That means provide a safe environment and do everything they can to make sure that a child is not injured while under their care. Typically in this situation, the claim is brought by a parent or legal guardian on behalf of the child and the child can recover the, the regular personal injury damages, medical expenses, pain and suffering, emotional distress. And although the parent is the plaintiff, the claim is actually the child's claim. However, in addition to the child being able to bring a claim, often the parent himself can bring a claim individually against the daycare operator. This is called a loss of consortium claim. Basically, the parent has a claim for the loss of the child's love, society, or companionship if the injury has caused the child to uh, lose the love and society of the parent. Also, the parent has a claim for the loss of the child's services if the injury has affected the child in a way that the child is, is not acting the way that the child normally would have before the injury. If your child has been injured while under the care of a daycare operator, you should speak to an experienced attorney who understands what type of claims can be brought, what type of negligence the daycare operator has shown, and if the parent himself has a claim for loss of consortium in a certain circumstance. If you have any questions along these lines, the attorneys at Swartz & Swartz are happy to help.